Hi Twin Flames, this is Jennifer. I'll be doing the daily horoscope tarot today and this is really good for like the next 24 to 48 hours. It is timeless. If you just need to watch it for some advice, you can um, and are drawn to it, it will resonate with you. So um, we are going to be drawing today for tarot and two <coughs> oracle per zodiac sign and then one of these ascended master oracles for each element today i am going to start with the fire signs i just want to thank you so much for being here liking sharing subscribing commenting you can now find me on tiktok at School of Twin Flame Alchemy, and I'm also on Fiverr and Patreon. The links are below. And also, I just want to say thank you for everyone I've been working with on Fiverr lately. It's just been such a great experience for me to connect with you that way. It's been amazing, and um, I just enjoy it so much, and I love helping you guys on your journeys. Um, Every journey is unique and different, and everyone has uh, their special situations that they go through, and yet we all connect um, because we're, we're all on this crazy journey together. So, and I say crazy with respect. So don't, I'm not, you're not crazy. I'm not crazy. We're not crazy. But um, it it does take twists and turns, right? that we don't ever see coming all right fire signs we're gonna go with this Cernunos life force express your driving passion speaking about fire sexual and sexual powers are increased um for me this is the twin flame of Bridget and it is the twin flame card in this deck for the masculine so your, <clears throat> I know yesterday we spoke a lot about balancing feminine masculine powers internally for each of you. And again, I feel this masculine energy coming up. Um, okay, Aries. And... <clears throat> So if you do feel a lot of um, passionate energy today, just try to find some ways to balance that and to, my light is glaring, isn't it? Um, maybe do some physical exercise or a burning ceremony or something where you release some of this pent up energy. Um, writing has been coming up for a lot of people. For some reason, the written word seems to be very powerful right now. And this card does have the new moon on it. So it might be building up to the new moon um, energy. Also, if you work with a, they're saying animal totem, that's like a deer or a stag or something like that. You might connect with them. Um, to channel that energy, but it do see just a lot of physical movement or or creative expression. All right, hi Aries, you got an extra card today. It was the Three of Swords in reverse that, oh, I'm sorry, it was the High Priestess that fell out for you. So, you know, surprisingly, a lot of actual feminine energy in this in this reading. Um, your overall card was the masculine twin flame card in this deck, if you didn't watch the fire sign intro. And so I just want to say thank you for being here, liking, sharing, and subscribing. I'm trying to say it with everyone. Um, you can find me at the links below. And let's do this reading here. I do get the sense that your intuition is really leading you forward and 
away from what you thought was really a situation that you would be stuck in for a long time. I think intuitively you know that the situation that you were in, where you had endured a lot of pain and suffering, where you felt really alone, you're moving out of that, you're moving away from that, and you're moving towards, you might even be going through a dark night of the soul. I see you in separation with your person, at least in this reading, um, at this time or today, because they're not here. They may be returning back soon as you focus more on yourself. I do get that you're going to encounter some surprises. I don't know why, but this is just really feeling like a robin's egg to me, like a springtime where you're gonna get like a surprise hatch and this tiny treasures and surprise gifts. And you may have a lot of female support around you right now, or you may just be feeling very in your intuitive powers with, with this high priestess. Again, you have the new moon here. So I do think for you guys especially, there's going to be um, some movement around the new moon. I don't know when that is, surprisingly, I usually do, so. Sorry, I'm getting a lot of <clears throat> movement in my energy and that usually causes me to burp. I know, it's really gross. Okay. Hi, Leo. I just want to say thank you for being here, liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. So you have the dragon card, which is one of the highest level spiritual cards in this deck. You also have the speak, sing, write, express, announce which I was talking about in the fire sign intro. So if you are called to, and you also have this beautiful blue card here, if you are called in any way to express yourself creatively or you need to get some energy out, because this dragon card is very powerful and you're, if you feel like an overwhelming amount of um, masculine energy, I would suggest using either speaking, singing, writing, something like that to give yourself that uh, channel of energy to move through because it does look like you've been working really hard at, at deciding which relationship to be in or either that or you're in a marriage and you've tried to like put your energy into it and it's not improving. Maybe you have been the one working at this twin relationship very diligently and it's not moving forward at this time and that's causing you to have a lot of anxiety but also I'm getting this feeling like you just want the person to see what the spiritual aspect is because there's just a heavy emphasis on spirit here and I don't think that they're seeing it at this time so you're gonna have to continue on your own to work on it or decide if you want to continue that path without any results and it may be just that you use your creative energy in a different way right now and you channel a more ancient wisdom for a collective instead of this particular relationship. Because I do get the sense that maybe you're a little bit stuck and you need to move your life force forward. I hope that helps, Leo. It seems like a pretty specific message. Okay. Hi Sagittarius, thank you for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing, wow. They weren't messing around with the um, very powerful energies. 
that are coming up for the fire signs today. Again, the new moon. So if you watched any of the fire signs or the intro, you'll see the new moon is playing a part for you guys. Um, I actually think it's the Leo. It will be the Leo full moon in Aquarius, right? So the period between the new moon and the full moon may be very potent. I do get with you a little bit more of the emphasis on the earth element here, where you're probably looking for a new situation because whatever was going on, whatever you were trying to build and plan for the future, it is not happening right now. I get the sense that this is like failed plans. Um, possibly your person, your twin was trying to, you were trying to make plans for the future with them and they ghosted you or they disappeared or they stopped communicating because this is all indicated here. If this is making you angry, just please go watch the intro to the fire signs. And also with you in particular, this is about speaking the truth of your emotions. So perhaps writing them or whatever it is you do to get that emotion out of you, but not to them. This is not about you expressing your truth to them unless they explicitly ask you because there's just too much uh, fire behind it right now. And that is not a good idea. Um, they want you to really work on grounding yourself and really like go through an exercise about like planning your 2021 or what your ideal day, year, month looks like because that will give you something else to focus on besides this relationship and the powerful energy that's coming through it right now, okay? I hope that helps fire signs and I'm going to move on to air signs. Hello, air signs. I want to thank you all for being here. I'm gonna pull one card from your um, Ascended Masters here for overall guidance and then I'm going to shuffle the cards for you guys while I talk about it. I do want to say that I am now on TikTok under School of Twin Flame Alchemy. I'm on Patreon and Fiverr if you want to contact me there. Okay, our signs, we have faith, humanity, and benevolence. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others and see the light in the world. Okay, so this is about a higher light coming through a lot of blue a lot of purple so we've got you know throat third eye and the crown activated she has a halo and she's holding a heart with three blue roses so it is about the trinity of you know in when I work with the ring, the Trinity is the masculine, feminine, and then the combined flame. So we can see the basically the flames for each counterpart and then the combined flame that happens together and that's their purpose mission and then also, you know, they create, they each have their own chakra system and then they have the joint chakra system where they merge together. Um, so there's always like three entities with the twins and you can sense this when you feel the merging together of the energies, right? It's the illusion of 
one soul and two bodies in the polarity of a masculine and a feminine. And then within you, you also have the masculine and feminine. So if something has kind of upset you, which it does seem to be a theme of today, um, or kind of gotten you off kilter, they are telling me, like, use the calmness of water and, and blue and this energy to stay calm and express it not to your person but to someone else or yourself and really talk and see it through um, so you can process it internally and not externally. All right, air sign. So I'm going to go ahead and move on with Gemini here. Hi, Gemini. Thank you for being here, liking and just sharing and subscribing. Ooh, okay. Mm, ooh. Wow. That is, that is not an interesting set of cards. So you are at this time, it looks like feeling quite intuitive, quite psychic, quite connected to the ethereal, spiritual, emotional, feminine. <sighs> this looks like a new start to me that was offered to you by the divine. Perhaps a job, perhaps a move, and you are not really talking about it. You're being very sneaky about what's going on in your life. I think with other people, maybe even your twin, and the good news is here is that you don't have anywhere to really rush to. There's you can take your time and decide and do the healing work and the intuitive work that you need to do without worrying about too much uh, prying eyes on you or about explaining to people what you're doing. They're just saying, if this is a reactionary move in any way, don't take that into consideration right now. Like, if something has made you upset and then you have an opportunity to go somewhere, really take the time, or to make a move, take the time to really slow down and understand why you're making the choices that you're making. Hope that helps you. That does seem like a very specific message, but sometimes they are like that. All right. Hi, Libra. Thank you for being here. Liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Wow. 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 Holy moly. Well... It does look like you're wanting to work with someone, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and they may be coming to you with some <sighs> offer. I get the sense that it's not the offer that you really want, but it is on their part, you know, a true love offer. This would be your twin with these cards. And it is looking like a choice that you're going to have to make between this King of Pentacles situation, which could be another person, but it could also be like a job or a situation. Um, and them. And what it looks like to me here is if they want to do the work with you, it will be them, you know? with the beaver spirit and this like-minded teamwork supportive win-win situation it looks very promising i would just be wary to go slow with the passion here 
because they aren't offering you any pentacles at the moment. There's just immature feelings and a sexual nature, but I do get the sense with, with a clearly defined plan and clarity you could work together to build into something but you know you need to decide if that's what you want to do at this time so really go inward and figure out if you know you're willing to basically sacrifice this king situation um, I do get the sense that this is a permanent move. It doesn't mean it always is, but that's the feeling I'm getting. Okay, hello Aquarius. I have to say your readings have been quite good lately, and let's see what we have. Wow, well, you're not disappointing. I mean, either this is a male coming forward to you, or several there may you may have many possibilities right now or you may just be really have one that is very it has all the qualities you're looking for you know says the right things has feelings is showing you the money you know offers gifts and also with the hair for me or with the rabbit, this is uh, sexual energy. It also, you have the commitment card here with the spirits of the forest and your ancestors supporting you working together with this person. So to me, this is extremely positive. All of those lights are green and this is a go forward <laughs> with the situation. Um, this may be, if you have multiple suitors right now, or you're interested in several people, I do get the sense you can really take your time and decide, um, what you want and talk to each of them and like, see what they have to offer you. And don't be afraid to be quite expressive with them about, look, this is what I need. Are you willing to give it to me? Show it to me and see which one the chemistry is there with because you definitely have chemistry with with at least one of these people um even though there's no wands here this is very much a chemistry card to me and very much um you have fatherhood indicated here so if that's something you're interested in you need to discuss that with them as well if your father has passed on this is a special message to you that they are approving of this situation that you are um, considering all right thank you Aquarius thank you for being here I hope that helps you and I'm going to go ahead and move on to earth signs hi earth signs 23 26 I'm going to go ahead and pull one of these Ascended Master cards for you. And then we're going to pull each. Uh, while I talk about it, we're going to pull the tarot cards for the individual signs. I do want to mention I'm now on TikTok under School of Twin Flame Alchemy. And I'm that's my Patreon also. And then I'm on Fiverr where you could contact me for gigs and... If you need to discuss anything with me, sorry, my nose just started running, so that's interesting. You may have recently um, had some kind of emotional turmoil where you've been crying a lot. Divine healing. All right, so that makes a little bit of sense um, because my nose just started going crazy. Um, honor your sensitivity, retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. This is obviously the heart chakra colors and you have the green ray, which has been very present. Um, and the gold ray coming in, you can connect to and bring those into your heart space and clear and cleanse the chakra of past hurts and any kind of, um, past trauma or 
rejection, resentment, remorse, any kind of um, feelings where you're holding back in your heart and you're guarding yourself. It's time to now heal those. Um, you may have recently felt, I know with me, one of my core wounds is rejection. And so that's what my twin always brings up for me. And if that's one of yours from your parents or whatever, whatever situation where your ego was formed, um, you, your twin will come in and will just activate that wound and then leave. <laughs> As it's so fun for them to do. Um, so you can go and heal it, right? So if you've been going through that, just know that um, there's healing that is open for you now to heal some of those um, wounds. And that's just a normal part of this ascension process. All right. Hello, Taurus. Thank you for being here, liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I really appreciate the comments, too. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? That does look like you are focused on your gifts and your money and um, what you're bringing into fruition right now. I'm sorry for the glare. It's when I have my light on. Um... The cards for me right now are just saying there's a little bit of a mismatch of energy and then you're just tired of waiting. You want to move forward and I get the sense that there's conflict around the movement forward. Either your person's being very slow or you just don't want to rely on them. You know, you want to have action here and your psychic gifts are telling you it's time to move forward and get on with this healing you know get on with this movement get on with this forward motion and you know you don't really want to create a conflict but also you just don't see them matching your energy they're being very slow and they're really not acknowledging what you would like them to acknowledge. So I hope that helps Taurus. Work on yourself, work on your heart chakra. There is, it's indicated that there is um, some work to be done there if you didn't watch the intro. All right, we have Virgo. Well, this is quite beautiful. Virgo. I think Aquarius just got this card and this card, maybe the both of these. Um, this is you really like living the ancient mystery, the ancient knowledge, the ancient wisdom on a day-to-day -day basis and like really integrating that and building on it you may have a choice between two people one who's looking towards the future and one who seems to be looking towards the past or that may be you doing those two things they may also you know have some sort of fight over you or it could be just one person that's coming to you talking about their emotions and wanting to build and you may just be a little more interested in being stable in your day-to-day -day life and not so up and down. I get the sense you're wanting to be more stable in your heart space and when you constantly entertain everybody else's emotions, it pulls you away from your own work. So 
So I think you just are in the mood of like enjoying life right now. If you didn't watch the intro to Earth Signs, please watch that because it will hold a message for you. Hi Capricorn. Ooh. Spider card does not come up for me very often. You may be dealing with a Libra Taurus or Pisces. You may be ending a relationship or have ended a relationship and be desiring to build something new. Again, I get the sense that your heart is wanting to move to calmer waters and you should watch the intro to Earth Signs because it is about healing the heart chakra. Weaving a web that is really supportive of you, doing the work to clear the past remaining, they're saying cobwebs, but I think it's just because of the spider. Um, you know, your skeletons in the closet need to be cleared. Whether it was a divorce or whatever it was, whatever past hurt has, is still lingering in there. It needs to be, you need to take the time to go inside and really clear that out now because moving forward depends on that. That's a beautiful message. Thank you so much for being here and um, I really appreciate all of the support and connecting with you guys like this. I hope you like it and I will see you tomorrow. All right, hello, 31, 32. Water signs, last today. I'm going to pull one of these Ascended Master cards for the overall energy for water. And then I'm going to shuffle and pull the Tarot and Oracle cards while I am talking to you about it. So um, you can now find me on TikTok. I'm, on, I'm under School of Twin Flame Alchemy. That's my Patreon too. And then I'm also on Fiverr. All right, Master Buddha incre increased awareness. Deep connection and trust your inner voice. So we have the gold ray here, which has been present for me for about a week or so. And the beautiful blue in the background of this card. Just get the sense that, you know, a lot of water signs are really waking up to the specialness of their inner gifts and their inner voices. And honoring themselves a, a little bit more. I think some of you have come out of your awakening period finally and are... really understanding what you bring to the world, the deep connection of the things that you feel, and maybe you're less scared to actually connect, or that's going to be the next phase of your journey is the connecting. Because um, a lot of, you know, water signs they do deeply connect, but they also have some fear around it, usually from the people in their lives. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of their, their young life. Here we go. Deep desires, past life memories, underlying passion, devotion. And then we have the card of, you know, basically the animal that cleans up the dead debris, right? The recycler. All right, Cancer. If you didn't watch the intro to Water Signs, please watch that. Okay, so you kind of stopped working so much and you are just kind of planning on, I, I think it's just fulfilling yourself. 
and really clearing out what in your life was not serving you. Um, there's a lot of dark energy here in a good way. I get the sense you're ready to talk about your, your sensuality, your sexuality, your desires, your passions, your fulfilling yourself and using what didn't work in the past to move forward. Basically, like, it's time to move on and you're ready to say that to whoever needs to hear it. And either they're on board or they're not, you know, either they're coming with you or they're gonna get left in the past. And that's just your confidence increasing. Which is nice to see. Hi, Scorpio. Thank you for being here. Oh, somebody else got the tiger. This is in the fire sign. Someone in the fire signs got this card. Maybe Ari uh, I think it was Leo. I don't know. Okay. Well, well, well. That is an interesting interesting a set of cards I think there's a lot going on with you that is not being talked about with this Queen of Swords I get the sense that that is not your counterpart that may be someone you left or are leaving behind because you want to move on to a soulmate twin flame, possibly a fire sign. I think you have a choice between a fire and an air sign and you want to have a new grounded experience. This may be something you've been thinking about but not talking about. And someone that has more in common with your own goals, dreams, aspirations that you feel more in alignment with at this time. Like, I, they keep saying, um, uh, what's that expression? <laughs> the same stripes or something. I don't know, birds of a feather flock together type things that are giving me two different ones. Um, it's like the same, the same, we have the same stripes or stripes match, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, Scorpio, I, you're in the process of waking up to this um, desire of becoming more authentic. And you'll have a choice to make soon. Okay. 38, 31. Last but not least, the Pisces. God, I want to say you got this the other day. Um, wow. Earth, water, and fire. What they're saying is like, why can't we just all get along? <laughs> like, there's um, not enough of you to go around right now, Pisces. I think you want to play with everyone and you're like, well, why can't I? <laughs> if everybody gets along with me, why can't I play with everybody? This does feel like a renewed sense of optimism for you. And that is that you are waking up to the enlightenment of not being trapped by your emotions, but understanding how to live in this physical reality a little bit better without conflict. Something clicked for you in terms of how to walk how to get what you want by working well with other people. 
and you are showing the world your fiery side and I also think you're probably showing it to your twin like mm, I know who I am do you know who I am and it may be activating them a little bit you may get more of a response than you bargained for so think that through beforehand all right lots of love to you guys thank you so much if you have ideas for readings please leave them in the comments and i'll see you tomorrow bye for now